So it is that time again. The March Sophie and Toffee Elves box has officially arrived. It is here in my possession and I can't wait to get it open because the package looks like it's been through a bit of a rough time. So <laughs> it needs looking after. Let's get inside. girl Aisha Sasha and I am here opening up the March Sophie and Toffee Elves box now I'm not entirely sure what the theme is this time it's something to do with honey I think I tried my hardest to avoid spoilers but hey ho what can you do okay I saw the word honey and I think it, uh, I don't know I'm not entirely sure I can't actually get this open where are my scissors oh one second found them okay so yeah, I'm not entirely sure about the theme. So um, I'm quite interested to see exactly what it is. Oh my gosh, this is so hard to open today. <laughs> okay, let's get inside. And the box color is red again. So I'm not actually matching it today. <laughs> Usually I always end up matching the box, but this red is so, so beautiful. I was really pleasantly surprised when we got this last month. Okay, so. Those of you who are new to my unboxings, first and foremost, hello and welcome. I do a lot of unboxings here on this channel. I like to just simply open up and dive in. I don't like to look because I don't like to get any spoilers. So I often try to sort of guess what the theme is. I know it's something to do with honey at the moment, but I'm not entirely sure. So the first thing, okay. I'm feeling, I'm feeling molds. I'm feeling something squishy so that's probably some like gummy resin of some sort I'm feeling a little pot here this might be some glitter and we know that I love me some glitter girl I love me some glitter. oh no it's not it's a pigment oh my gosh it's orange so we have this bright orange pigment I wonder if that actually um, glows in the dark have I got gold leaf on me have I just crushed the gold leaf oh <laughs> Hold on a second, I'm trying to process two things at once. One second, so, does this glow in the dark or anything? Not that I can see, but I think I might have just like crushed some gold leaf. Oh dear. <laughs> I was kind of rough <laughs> with, the, with the items in the box. So let me just, let me just be a lot more gentle. So this now is colored, kind of juvie resin and it's gold. Ooh, I wonder if I can actually see that straight away. Let's have a look. Oh, oh, okay. I'll just put a drop of that on my finger so you guys can see. So it comes out like that. It looks like honey, really. Maybe that's the reason why we have that. Okay, why did I put it on my finger? <laughs> Let's see. That feels like that's UV resin. 60 grams? 60 grams! fabulous this is the resin a lot of you ask me what what uv resin do i like the most for some reason it's this one it just so happens to be pretty in pink but yeah this is the one that i like the most out of all of the resins that i've used um i find that i get the least shrinkage with this one um and yeah it's a really pretty bottle so <laughs> i'm glad that we've got 60 grams this time i think 60 grams is a, is a is a good amount for a beginner because you know it's, it's it's enough to make something but it's also enough to make a couple of mistakes because let's face it with resin we all make mistakes <laughs> we're all still making mistakes now what is this a big tub of something oh it's the big tub of gold leaf that's a lot of gold leaf oh my god this is massive look how big that is that's a lot of gold leaf well i'm not gonna run out of that <laughs> for quite some time oh my goodness i don't feel so bad now because it was already crushed so i don't feel like i've like ripped like, you know, sheets of gold leaf. It was already crushing here, so I, that's all right. That's a lot though, that's a really generous amount. I like that. Gold leaf is really good for when you're doing like marbling projects with resin. It's, it's such a cool effect that it gives. Okay, what mold, I'm excited to see what molds are. What mold is this? What are you? Oh, we have honeycomb and a little bee. Oh, oh that's so cute. What a random theme, honeycomb. That is lovely though. That is a really, really lovely mold. That's really nice. But it's, su it's such a random theme, honeycomb. I wonder why they chose that. Answers in the comments, please. Why do you think that they chose honeycomb for a theme? Okay, is this part of it? Is, it, is this a second part to it? No. Oh my gosh. So we've got lots of little, little bees and oh, a little mini honeycomb. 
honeycombs. Oh, this is so cute. And a little honey pot. Oh, this is adorable. <laughs> this is adorable. Look at this mold, guys. Can you can you can you see that? Can you see all of the little details in there? Lots of little mini honeycombs. We have that gorgeous honey pot there. They're very, very detailed. So you can do some really nice intricate designs with this, or you can go the simple route and just, you know, mix up one color of resin and pour it in, or two colors and pour it in. But I do like to do very detailed things in my resin. So this will be quite a lot of fun. And I like that they've actually already got holes in them. Can you see? If you have a look there, you can see that um, like each thing has got its own little space for a hole. So you could make like a nice sort of like charm bracelet with that or something. That's really, really cute. Okay, so let's see what else. There doesn't seem to be much else after that. So let's have a feel. These might just be like some little like findings for maybe for, for bracelets or keyrings or something. I'm not sure. Oh! Okay, I appreciate that that they've included some clips because your girl wears clip-on earrings, okay? So we have some clips here either well you can you can use the the, the clips or you can use like the the normal earring um, studs Okay, so they're going down like the jewelry route. This is good <laughs> You guys already know I wear everything. So this is a good thing And what is this? Oh, we have some magic yellow pigment. I've got quite a lot of these from the um, from the Disney Simpson box, and yeah, like I was very impressed with how much pigment that you got because you only need the teeniest, tiniest amount. You will not run out of this. And oh, is that another pigment? We have black. Okay, I was wondering if they were going to give us black because obviously bees, yellow and black. Okay, is that everything? I think that's every. Where are the packing peanuts? packing peanuts last month we got packing peanuts but not this one sophie and dovey please next month yeah <laughs> oh my goodness right let me quickly check out the book oh that's a nice design honeycomb bee box okay Woo! oh contest winners okay so we have clarabella 87 guru mimi resin and whimsy and baubles and miss ames and this is for the pastel goth box that we had last year i know i haven't yet done my hourglass i was waiting on some clay to arrive and it's finally come so i can actually do that craft now <laughs> but look at all these beautiful designs congratulations guys fabulous Let's see, just to make sure that I actually got everything. Oh, that's a color changing pigment. Oh, so with heat, it goes from orange to yellow. I was, I was a little bit confused as to why it was orange when bees are yellow and black. But yes, okay, brilliant. Um, honeycomb bee coaster mold. Okay, so it's a coaster. Well, I'll find some way to make it into a necklace. You know what I'm like. Um, and then we've got the honeycomb bee jewelry mold. Fabulous. Yeah, I've got the resin. Um, it looks like everyone got gold for the for the colored resin and um, yeah I think that that's yeah that's pretty much it great okay so if you got this box I am intrigued to know what you think of it and also what you are planning to make with it as well I would love to make a charm bracelet I think out of all the little the little bee things I think it'll be really really adorable um, as for the honeycomb coaster I'll probably I'll probably make something to wear with that, you know what I'm like already. So if you enjoyed this video and if you are liking the vibe, then just subscribe so that you don't miss the next one and you don't miss what I'm going to make with this box. Take care my darlings and I'll see you all soon. Bye.